Okay, let me try to be as polite, as political as I could be. I usually don't succeed with that, but I'll try. Okay, when you make a rules and regulation, there is a price you have to pay for it. For example, we have stopped the, expo uh, the growth of wheat. We cannot grow wheat. There is a social price for that. You got to pay for the price. And according to the degree from King Abdullah, is there is a price and we have to pay for it. But it's not been discussed as of yet. When you tell a farmer who have invested hundreds of millions of reals, and believe on me, just the hole in the ground cost one million reals. A tractor cost one million reals. So you're talking about hellacious amount of money invested in agriculture. When a bureaucrat, a government employee or a government agency, he write a rule said, stop growing wheat. Very good. Wheat require, one hectare of wheat requires six to 7,000 uh, cubic meters per hectare. If we talk in the north of Saudi Arabia, and just to correct you, doctor, Egypt doesn't grow only 10. In Saudi Arabia, north of Saudi Arabia, we grow 11 and 12 tons per hectare of wheat. So, to get back to your uh, statement, they, we use about 1,000 uh, per one tons of wheat. Now, when they stopped us from growing wheat, because they can do that, we, can, we cannot deliver wheat anymore to the silo. Very good. So what do I do? There is other alternative, which is we grow alfalfa, or we grow summer crops. When we grow summer crop, now here is the bombs. The summer crops require not 1,000, it requires 16,000. So while we are trying to reduce water, we went from the wheat to summer crop, and summer crop require 16 times this is the worst case if you go in the south, but it goes the number. It depends on what area, but at least it's a five times more consumption of water than wheat because we did not pay the price after the surgery. You decided to make the surgery, but you don't want to pay the price after the surgery. Thank you. Uh, I'll, uh, okay. Uh, John, uh, the, there is a, uh, also a successful example about this uh, uh, intra-regional cooperation. Uh, we uh, are now entering into uh, uh, refining sugar from beet, so we need the beets. And as you know, for land to rotate the crop, uh, some of the, be the best products in Egypt are beet and wheat, and then you relax the land by planting some alfalfa. You know, so uh, for optimal production level. And uh, we are currently uh, doing an arrangement with uh, Saudi investors uh, uh, who are bringing their equipment from Saudi. They're getting export credit to uh, take the equipment to uh, Egypt. Uh, we'll be consuming the beet, which will be as well uh, uh, covering the, the gap in uh, the Egyptian uh, uh, sugar production. And uh, the wheat, some of it will stay in Egypt, and alfalfa, uh, uh, some of it might be, uh, uh, you know, for export to Saudi. So, uh, you know, there are cooperative arrangements where uh, there, there is a win-win uh, solution, you know. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sami. Uh, now, in, in, in you are one of the best uh, to know that every investment there is risk. And there is a relative risk, of course, with higher uh, expected returns. Uh, people make their calculation and make their decisions. You need to have, of course, a complementary conditions, uh, such as, uh, uh, let's say, institutional setup, uh, different uh, agreements, etc. That has to be compl completed by the government different parties, etc. Sometimes you need also infrastructure to be built in, etc., etc. But it's a, a decision. I, I, my thinking of it, it's an investment decision. If you, we calculate it based on a pure 
investment decision, I think this is, will be great. If we calculate it on political decision, it might lead to grave mistakes. Uh, the last question is in the back. Uh, he's raising, what is it, number three? Yes. This is the last question. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, in fact, I come from Africa, from Ivory Coast. And I would like to say that um, my friend is right when he mentioned the land uh, tenure issue in most African countries. Uh, I can only say that you're right because most of our conflicts also come from the land issue. But we have to know also that things are changing because uh, the population is fast growing and we have to address the food, the food security uh, to our population also. So at some point, we will solve the land issue and in most countries, we are addressing this question. Uh, as a matter of fact, where I come from, uh, you have companies like ADM that mentioned Cargill and all the big uh, players. And uh, only 20% of the land are cultivated uh, in most African countries. Where we can find cultivable land in the future, it will be in Africa. The next game will take place in Africa, not only in agriculture, but all the development process uh, questions where we can find uh, a sustainable growth in the future, it will be on the African land. So uh, one have, has to reconsider uh, its view on investing in Africa because we will be the destination for the future. I'm convinced about it because I myself uh, work in uh, agribusiness and I sold some years ago half of my uh, assets to ADM and I uh, invest in uh, rubber, uh, palm oil and sugar in other businesses and we are addressing the land issue and we are progressing and doing quite well. So uh, I invite you all to consider Africa as the next de destination and a solution for uh, food security in part of the world. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I have uh, to wrap it up. I think uh, the question of uh, food uh, security or insecurity remind us of uh, Malthus' uh, theory about uh, population growth outpacing really uh, ability of the people to produce uh, uh, to produce food and agriculture. Uh, it's also remind us of the failure of that theory because it underestimated the power of science and technology and the power of the people to innovate in new methods of technology to increase yield from uh, specific uh, land. And this would remind us also again now that uh, with the expectation that the world population will grow and the expectation that the food prices will increase and that there will be more people suffering, we are also now underestimating the ability of the people in this world to invest in other countries and do the things that they are supposed to do, looking for the, be the, the, the highest profit uh, making sure that they are doing the best practices in their investment decision, doing the things they are supposed to do, and not doing the things that they are not supposed to do. And by that, they are utilizing land that is not being used, and employing people that is not being employed, and using water that is being wasted in the sea. And, there, and, by the, and using also capital that has been important with the organization that they have and the know-how in order to bring better produce cheaper to the world community. Thank you very much, every one of you. And 